Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I'm here for another unboxing video. This is a small pocket pen, so I have here a small Victorinox Alox Mini Champ uh, knife. It has this color, I chose this color of uh, a silver colored knife because the pen has some silver color and I was looking for the right tool to open it and that kind that, that tool they call the orange pillar would be nice for this but here it is so let's see what we have here because this channel is about pens not about knives but I like them so this is a pen that I bought from Enso in the United States. Here it is. And it is my third Enso pen. And let me show you what is inside this little cardboard box saying Enso there with golden letters. And come out, please. This is a pen that has been extensively shown at Stephen Brown's channel and it is a Enso XS Minimalist fountain pen. This one is made of titanium and it is a very interesting color like a grey, not really that kind of silver but it is a very nice one. I struggled a little bit because I was thinking if I should have these with the black nib or titanium nib or steel nib. Okay, and that I had to think a little bit and I decided to go for the black nib because this pen has the closing mechanism through these two rubber or rings that are black. So I thought it, if they are black it will match better the black nib and also the black clip they sent. Of course they could have sent a... I could have chosen... The, it, it would be more expensive but I could choose a titanium nib and titanium nib would come with a chrome clip and I don't think a chrome clip would be that nice in this color if you have a titanium nib of the same color as the pen and then a chrome clip it would be the only part so I was really hesit hesitating between the steel nib with the chrome clip or this black one but the black one actually will have the black matching the black on the pen, on the rubber rings and clips, so I thought it would be nicer. So this comes the pen with the black Bok number 5 nib with an ink cartridge, two O-rings to replace these when they wear out and a clip. Just for comparison purposes, let me uh, zoom in and I'll just show you. So I have here the, the Enso Minimalist. I already had the, the Enso in the same model in the copper finish, also with black nib. So a very similar pen, but much heavier because copper is much heavier than titanium. Titanium has a very specific feel to it. And I also had a Enso Italia pen, also in copper, that is quite oxidized. But this pen is a full-size pen with a number 6 very dirty nib. So, this is my comparison regarding the other Enso pens that I have. But, there is also another pen that I should bring to this table which is my only other uh, titanium pen which is the Parker T1 which is this amazing pen with the integral nib all made of titanium so 
it's a very interesting pen also the color of these two titaniums is not exactly the same this one is kind of a frosted finish this kind of more of, of a brushed finish so they are interesting pens let me take the two big pens out of here and we will stay with the small ones so we have the Enso XS Minimalist in Copper the Enso XS Minimalist in Titanium I will put the clip because I think they look better with the clip then for comparison one pen that I think it's very comparable but this one is a push fit cap this one is a screw fit cap so it's not that easily deployed the Caveco Lilliput which is quite similar in size a little bit a little slimmer but very similar as you can see and also another interesting pen that I kind of like I think it's kind of a good pen which is this uh, Vingsung 60 which is a pen that I removed it was kind of an imitation of a, a Fisher pen it had a space shuttle there I removed the space shuttle and I put a Fisher's clip and there you can see it's kind of a similar size a little bit longer so when you will use these pens you will obviously uh, post them you can write with them like this but it's not comfortable only if you want to put a small note on the paper so you have pens with this size this one is obviously the same size just different material and this is still a very snug fit because the pen is unused so here we have the two and so the Lilliput in steel they have the same kind of nib number five nib these two are branded Bok that one is branded Caveco and you can see that Caveco is Caveco Lilliput is a little shorter and then we have this which was the longest one when uh, kept these are both uh, cartridge fillers this Vingsung has an interesting nib this kind of uh, Schiffer tubular nib and inside it's not a cartridge filler it's this kind of let's call it aerometric filler let me put this again it posts well also and becomes a big size uh, full size pen and it's longer than the other two as you can see if i kind of align the nibs the pen gets out of the frame so they are interesting as in my opinion they are very fun to have these slim pens that are really nice to take with you in very tight space i have other lily puts but i actually only brought brought here to the table the silver colored one although i know that titanium is not really silver color it's more kind of a gray so you have here my small slim fountain pens this is all i had to show you today and i think i will ink this pen up and i will show you someday soon here on the channel so i hope you enjoyed and i hope to meet you soon here soon bye